Loading. Well, this is seven of nine. Commander Annika Hansen. Sir, Captain Shaw prefers that I use Hansen. Captain Liam Shaw was one of the more interesting characters seen in the series Star Trek Picard. I would even theorize he's one of the more dynamic personas in the entire franchise. A character that seemingly started out as a roadblock to Picard and Riker reaching their objectives, would ultimately culminate in a breakout persona loved by most all the fandom. However, there is one piece of the puzzle that I think most everyone missed. What if... Captain Liam Shaw always intended to help out the heroes, not because he particularly trusted or liked the geriatric crew of yesteryear, but because he trusted Seven. Let's just get into it. No. No. No, I have orders that come down from actual officers whose pay grade are far above all of ours, so request Nine. Before I delve too far into this, I know that most people will simply watch the first introduction of Shaw, as well as his, well, first interactions revolving around saving Picard and company, and try to use that as a reason why he never intended to assist them. But let's go ahead and break that down. We do know that when they ask to go in the opposite direction and are acting, well, suspicious as hell, he tells them no. However, what happens both immediately before and after that? Thank you for the parting punctuation. I'm headed to my quarters. Hanson, you have the con. He gives Seven of Nine the con. This immediately after Seven showed she had underlying loyalty to Picard. When the ship arrives in the Riton system, Liam Shaw does seem utterly surprised, I'll grant that, and does move to lock the vessel down after a few minutes, but, well, let's look at that entire interaction. What the hell I am looking at? This is the Riton system, sir. Esmar, lock this ship down. Sir, we have an unauthorized launch from Shuttle Bay 3. Shut up, bitch. This was you. You just loyaltyed your way to the end of a career. A shuttle has launched out of the docking bay. And what does he do? Certainly as options, they could attempt to tractor the shuttle, they could disable it with weapons, hell, they could do transporter locks. But no, he does none of that. In fact, he doesn't even relieve Seven of Nine of command. He says she has ruined her career and then he just exits. He leaves her in command of the vessel. That's really weird. Again, to reiterate, Liam is so incensed and so against everything that is going on and preventing them from completing whatever clandestine mission they have that he puts Seven of Nine back in charge, doesn't try to stop the shuttle, doesn't relieve her of command, and then just exits the bridge. Now, when she does try to go too far, take the ship beyond Federation space, and actually start, or possibly start, a war, he steps in and stops it. That is a bridge too far for him, but even then, when Seven of Nine approaches him, when she confronts him, and takes him to task, what does he ultimately do? He breaks his own rules. She is, once again, not relieved of duty, at least for the moment. And here's one last piece. We know that Captain Shaw doesn't like Picard, for a myriad of reasons, but I think he does respect him. When Shaw first meets the Admiral, Retired. Congrats on that. Sorry, uh, former Admiral. He tells them to pound sand, and yet then allows the man to override his orders. Delay that! Admiral's orders! You are going to get us all killed. Why are you doing this? When, by his own statements, he doesn't have to. After that, he gives command to Riker. Again, let me reiterate, I don't think Liam has any love for Riker, nor Picard. But I do think he trusts Seven, and he trusts those that Seven trusts. Now, I know people are going, they'll use that specific scene or some other specific scene and try to hang a hat saying it's just bad writing. It's all right, let's, let's say he didn't actively do it. I still don't think it's bad writing because in the end, it is too consistent. It's too purposeful. Star Trek is not above bad writing. God help us, we know that Star Trek Picard stands in front when it comes to that. But this is different. I truly believe, even if my boy isn't doing this on purpose, he is subconsciously wanting to help them. And you know what? He admits that the rules he follows probably should be broken. But these are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you on the next. Or reload.